guys. Um, I want to give a shout out to Leon, uh, content over everything. Thanks, Leon, for putting this content up on his channel and uh, you know content that I've done here before at Speaker's Corner. I'm a regular here at Speaker's Corner most Sundays, and my name is yeah. He's the cameraman. They say yeah. A DJ, are you? Yeah. Yeah, nice one, man. So um, yeah, I'm a regular here. I'm a regular speaker at Speaker's Corner, and I'm here most Sundays. And my name is Eco Dave. So Eco Dave, and if you look down in the right hand bottom there, you'll see I have a YouTube channel, Eco Dave Media, on YouTube, and Eco Dave Media on Instagram. Eco Dave Media, one word on Instagram, and then three separate words on YouTube. So please check out my content there. Uh, and what I want to talk about today is veganism. So I've actually done a lot of research into veganism, and I'm actually a vegan myself. I've been a vegetarian for a long, long time, long time. So you know 20 years perhaps yeah um, and then I've been a, a vegan for you know a, a period of time quite a long time period within that as well and um, and I actually transitioned from from vegan uh, from vegetarianism to veganism and it wasn't a, it wasn't a big transition it was once I got you know reduced my uh, you know stop drinking milk in my tea and things like that and using alternatives like um, you know herbal teas and things like that you know it, it, it was quite a quite an easy transition basically you know so, uh, and, it, and the, you know, there are alternatives out there. If you don't eat a certain kind of thing, you can replace that with something that's vegan. Um, there are many alternatives there, yeah? So what we're gonna talk about today is basically what's on this banner. This is a new banner, and I wanna give a shout out to Jason of the Disbury. He helped me with this banner to um, get it printed up. And, um, and uh, you know, he's, uh, he managed to, to, to help me out with this. And I'd just like to say, if anybody wants a, a banner like this, doesn't matter what the content is or what the, the links are. You see my links at the top of the banner there. It doesn't matter what it is, he can get it printed up for you. Quite a, quite a reasonable price as well. We're not making any profit on this, it's all cost price. So this banner comes in at 30 in the UK, 30 pounds, including postage and packaging. So that's very reasonable. And any, like I say, any content can be put on a banner and um, you know, and all your links can be put up there as well. So big shout out to Jason for doing that. Nice one, Jason, we worked on that together. Um, basically, I came up with the design, etc. And these these banners are very durable. So you basically, if you get it, you know, get a little bit of uh, dirt on them, you can just wash them off, wash it off with soapy water. So very durable, excellent print, uh, print quality, and um, and very easy to to carry around. This only comes in about half a kilogram, so easy to put in a small backpack. So I would certainly recommend anybody that you know is interested in, in doing similar things like this and getting out there and talking about different topics. You need a bridge. To talk to the to public, and this is a bridge. So a banner would be a bridge. You know, if you just don't have anything, it's, it's, it makes it much more difficult for yourself. If you have a banner, it's a lot easier to talk on certain topics, and all the information's there. If you notice on this banner, it kind of tells a story, starting off in the in the top left-hand corner there, and it works its way around the bottom to the right uh, to the left bottom corner, and then to the right, and then up to the top. There's a bit of a story going on there, and the central main focus is. You can stop world hunger by going vegan. I mean, it's it, that is quite a claim, but if you look at that and actually start doing research, you'll find out that of all the in the on the world system we live on here, um, which is stationary, by the way, stationary level. We live on a stationary level plane. But on this system, 80% of meat cultivation, uh, sorry, 80% of all farming production is meat cultivation. 80%. And that's that's to feed the animals basically. So all of the all of the farming that goes into all of the farming that goes into um, you know producing grains etc. And those grains are then fed to, fed to, fed fed to the animals basically. Yeah. Um, so so 80% of all all crops are used to to basically fuel the meat industry. So think about that. You know we're so many people on this earth system, and yet the priority is for animals. You know, 80% of our food production is going towards animal animal feed to produ produce meat. To, to produce a steak, you know, a, a, um, a kilogram of steak or etc. It takes so much resources. It's all outlined. You can research this as well. It takes so many resources: the water, the the land cultivation, the crops, the, the you know, the the um, vets' bills, and all of that. It's 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 really an expensive thing. Um, now, what I'm saying is, if we start, if we reduce, and it's a very simple idea. It's a very very simple idea, guys. But if we, if uh, the majority of the population went vegan, we could reduce our meat consumption down to a, 
a very, you know, um, certainly a fraction of what was what we're doing today. But we can reduce our meat production um, down to a very min minimal amount. So therefore, that frees up all the land that we could use to to cultivate vegetables. Therefore, by going by going, you know, by reducing from eighty percent to let's say five or ten percent, then we free up 70 percent of, of that um, land for to produce food for humans. Now, the therefore, in in that respect, we could actually, you know, we could feed the population two, three, four. I mean, talking about everyone now, everyone on this earth plane. We could feel, we could fuel, we could feed this whole uh, population um, maybe two or three times over. That's everybody. Nobody needs to go hungry. Nobody needs to starve. Um, and it's all by doing, by you know, making, by reducing your your um, impact and going, having a very simplistic lifestyle. And that's by becoming vegan. We can actually feed everybody on this earth system, everybody, and we can feed them. There's enough food. We can feed them three four, five, maybe ten times over. We certainly reduce our, our consumption down to five percent. We could feed everybody on this earth system. I'm talking about everybody. No, there would be no hunger. There would be no starvation in third world countries. Um, and, you know, there would be more than enough food for everyone. Now, think about that, guys. We only need three basic things. Shelter, food, and water. So we could, produce, we could actually, you know, um, uh, we could have a very a more simplistic lifestyle. And in my opinion, it's going towards that. Because at some point we can't just keep this consumption going. We would have to reduce it, and we have to make simple. We have to make simple choices and a simpler lifestyle. Now, getting talking about um, uh, talking about world, you know, stop. Yeah, you know, we can reduce world hunger. If you know these poorer countries that are producing food, that you know their priority should be for the local population. However, at this moment, at this point, it's not. They're, they're exporting uh, grains to the west, and those grains are being fed to the to animals, fed to cattle, basically. So the local population are starving why, while their, their food, basically, their food that should be going to the local population is getting sent abroad to be used for multi cultivation. You know, the priority should be with feeding the local population. You know, and then we're not, the numbers, if you research this, the numbers are astronaut, you know, they're, they're, they're such big numbers. And these countries are having problems enough with the, with the, with, um, the environments because of, you know, because of um, the se seasonal patterns, etc. So if they, you know, if their crop is affected by weather, then they get a reduced crop and then still that food, that crop is still going, you know, to be exported. So uh, this needs to stop, guys. We need to be feeding humans over animals first. Yeah, and we, we need to stop, and the animals, um, we need to stop producing, you know, the factory farming on a scale. You know, it's, it's inhumane, it's cruel, you know, farming all these animals just for, you know, for fractional, fra uh, you know, a couple of moments of taste, because that's all it is. You know, that you might, you know, your taste buds just for a few seconds, basically. That's all what it boils down to. As a vegan, you can get all your protein from other sources. You can get it all from vegetables. You know, the, you can get your protein from avocados and all of that. You can research that yourself. But getting back to getting back to world hunger we can actually stop world hunger do you know how much it costs it costs I'll just point to it here it costs 30 billion we could actually end world hunger it costs 30 billion to end world hunger and that could be done overnight but look how much is spent on defense spending 737 billion yearly I mean where are our priorities, guys? Come on. We, we, I'm going to speak out for those that don't have a voice as well. We should be, you know, we should be feeding everybody first, not wasting money on, on you know, on equipments and things like that. That's just ridiculous. And look at the fraction. You know, if you look at that, it's only 5% of the U.S. defense budget to end world hunger for good. Once we put in systems in place, in place where, you know, um, where, you know, everybody has access to food, etc., we can just, that can be sustainable. So... You know, we need to end this, guys. We need to end the system where money's being wasted on a mass scale, on, on useless stuff, you know, on certainly on consumerism and, and certainly on spending as well. We can end world hunger with 30 billion, yeah? So think about that, guys. Do your own research. There's tons of information out there. If you look at the, um, if you look at videos like Cowspiracy, that, that really shows the graphic, horrific treatment of animals in the meat industry. And then forks over knives. There's, there's a lot of videos out there. So, I mean, that's up to you to go away and research that. Um, I'll just go through this, through basically what's at the top. You've got all my, so you can, uh, you can stop world hunger by going vegan at the top. My links are at the top, YouTube, Eco Dave Media, in the middle, Eco Dave Media on Instagram, and then Vegan Community London on, also on Instagram. 
So uh, just a, a, a brief overview. There's a, a lady called Elizabeth Blackburn, and that's right here. Um, and she goes into it a lot. And once you start having a vegan lifestyle, you can really change your um, change the functioning of your body and refine your body. Basically, she goes into that a lot. What um, what I did, I actually researched a guy called Dr. Sebi, and then he actually came up with a three-step process, which is um, basically eliminate processed food from your diet. Second point, um, have um, go towards an alkaline diet, which is you know um, most vegetables these days, most vegetables, avocados, cucumbers, lettuce, salad, things like that. Um, and then the third point is uh, eliminate fluoride from your um, from your daily life. So. Um, that's distill your water. You can buy a distiller on Amazon for 40, 50 pounds. And then also, um, you know, use alternative um, dental hygiene. So eliminate toothpaste because you're not supposed to put gels in your body. Um, you can use alternatives like charcoal tooth powder. Also can be found on Amazon. Just getting back to the alkaline foods, you can test yourself with the test strips, um, which can be bought for about six pounds on Amazon. You can test them every morning by putting a strip in your mouth and testing your saliva to determine what how what uh, pH level your body's at. Again, just to maintain a pH level of seven seven point five, just eat alkaline foods. It's when you get it's when you actually um, start eating acidic foods that you get into problems. Dr. Sebi came up with a preventative um, health health uh, lifestyle, so a, pre a preventative uh, medicine basically and that includes so because food is medicine so it's um, basically having a, pre a preventative approach and uh, choosing an alkaline diet basically yeah so have a look at those three points it's all on my instagram it's all on my instagram yeah so it's eco dave media um and it's it's all the points there it's all on youtube as well so you can refer back to that this banner by the way is on my instagram so if you want to actually if you can if you have a look on uh, instagram you can actually see that the banner and then again if you want to order just drop me a drop me um, an email um, uh, there's a link there my email address or just go directly because Jason can get them done directly and that's Jason um, at didsbury.com uh, Jason at didsbury.com so um, just go to um, uh, just send him an email and he can get banners sorted out as well yeah. so um, have a look at this guys you can have a look at the banner on my Instagram um, I mean, it's not, I mean, we're viewing it from kind of from an angle here, so it's not maybe, but if you go on my Instagram, it's, it's all there. Um, and the banner's there, and you can actually zoom in on it, and you can zoom on each particular section. There's nine sections here, well, um, with the central focus being on the main one, yeah? So all the, all the points are there, and then again, if you go away and do your own research, you'll, um, and then you can, you know, re I would certainly suggest researching about a vegan lifestyle. It certainly helped me. I've, I've, you know, uh, refine my body over years, and then, you know, with the with the alkaline diet, and then certainly with the the fluoride. I mean, that changed. I did that years ago, uh, quite a while ago. But with eliminating fluoride, um, and that basically changed my changed me in a month. So it wasn't the first day, first couple of days. It was about or two or three weeks. It was actually after a month. I, I really noticed a huge change. So stick with it. Certainly with veganism, it does take a, a while to transition into ve vegetarian veganism, you know, a couple of months. But with the fluoride, you can do that within a month. And you'll notice a, you know, a, big, a big difference just in your daily lifestyle when you stop putting fluoride in and other chemicals in your body by using distilled water, which eliminates everything from the tap water. With a distiller, you still use the tap water, but it, uh, you distill it over a number of hours and then use that water. So, um, and it's, they're, they're quite reasonable on Amazon as well. So have a look at that, guys. Um, certainly, certainly, you know, consider, because I, like I say, we can reduce our impact and we can have a sustain, more sustainable life by reducing the impact on our environment, um, which the, the biggest impact is actually you know, um, animals for meat cultivation. You know, that you know, if you're talking about um, methane in the in the atmosphere as well, that's all all from cows. Um, and you know, and the 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 overproduction of, of um, animals for the for the meat industry. So we can actually do that. We could. Yeah, it's a simple idea. It's very very simple. It's not it's not it's not an intricate idea. It's, it's very simple. We could stop world hunger by going vegan. It's a very simple idea. Look into it, um, research it, and find a lifestyle that's um, suitable for yourself, you know? Um, so this is Eco Dave Media. Please check out my channel. Um, that's on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so thank you for listening, and um, uh, thank you to Leon and his crew. And
and uh, for for taking the time out to do this. And if you want to come and say hi, I'm usually in the speaker's corner. I'll be here with this banner or other banners. Come and say hi. Come and have a chat. You're more than welcome. Um, and if you've got any questions about veganism, you know, more can, more than welcome to have a chat or just send a send a message on Instagram or YouTube, etc. So um, yep, yeah, uh, check it out, guys. I think in my in my humble opinion, uh, I think veganism is the way of the future. I think the youngsters are really getting on board. I mean, if you've got a young family, get them get them on a vegan diet when they're young and they won't have problems when they're like, you know, older. So uh, just a last statistic to 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 leave you with, you know, um, uh, about 80% uh, of meat eaters have problems with their health. Um, uh, vegetarian uh, have a, about 15% of the population have problems with their health. And then if you're vegan, it reduces down to about two, three, four percent. So certainly have a you know we're not meant we don't have our digestive system is not meant to eat meat that meat will stay in your body for years you know if you have a vegan lifestyle you basically eliminate all your intake in a matter of 24 hours so it's a very it's a very healthy lifestyle please consider it please do your research it's all out there research dr sebi please research you know have a look at my site and others um and um and 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 you know find out for yourself because you're the only one that's responsible for yourself Okay guys, see you next time.